Word. Word. Word, word, word. Do you want to talk word? about the word? The word. Oh, do I want to talk about the word? Sure. You're the man in the ship here. Oh, no. I'm I just want to see if your voice goes higher. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. This week's real estate term, hopefully Closings. y'all know it. Is clo- you took it from oh, me, Matt. Sorry. Come on. This was my I moment. Didn't t- I didn't time that right. It's closing. Thanks. You need like a door shutting sound. That was that? That's, that's like a, that's a, that's a creepy like door. A whip over there. Yeah. <laughs> like slamming a door. <laughs> that was a whip. <laughs> so to a, to a real estate agent, closing is the best word that you know. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Unless the closing door on your face. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So according to the internet, and you can correct this if you want, feel free. Definition of closing is... Closing is when the home sale is considered final, which is which typically includes all parties' signatures on all required documents, all monies conveyed, and when a lender is involved with full lender's approval. For some markets across the nation, recording the deed with the county clerk's office is the ultimate and final step of closing. Once all these items are completed, then a buyer's access to the property is then provided, and the buyer is considered the new home owner. Mm-hmm. And they get the keys. Yep. In this market, we don't have to wait for the deed to be recorded. Can you imagine having to wait for the deed to be recorded? 60 days later. Yeah, (laughs) for someone to actually own the property. It can take, um, what, six to eight weeks for the deed to get recorded? So Hmm. thankfully, we don't have to wait for that. Right. But closing is definitely one of the uh, happier words. It is. In real estate. <laughs> I think it almost feels anticlimactic, though. You go there, get the keys, everybody's excited, mm-hmm. gets closing. Mm-hmm. Get done with the process, then you realize, I'm going to move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I pack boxes. And oh, move stuff next and step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like my whole life's in a truck. When I put the silver, yeah, can't that. find anything. As an agent, I think it can go two ways, too, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> One way you're going, my God. Goodness, I am so glad this is finally <laughs> over. Nothing has gone right with this deal. Or you get a little bummed because you have then realize, oh, I really liked hanging out with these people yeah. and showing them houses, and I'm really excited for them. And now you're done. But We'll see you sometime. Right, <laughs> but <laughs> chances are we may not ever hang out, but it was a lot of fun getting to know them and seeing how excited they were when you told them their offer was accepted and just kind of learning about them throughout the whole process. And then, yeah, kind of like a flip of a switch in some cases. It's bye. Okay, have, here you go. I mean, obviously we do our follow-up mm-hmm. and we try to, we stay in contact and make sure that everything goes well throughout the. It's not the same though. It's not like when you're right. showing a house and you and your customers are all in the bathroom checking it out. You're not going to be right. standing in their bathroom right. again. With right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, whole, fa- cases, whole family yeah. and you in the bathroom, yeah. Right. Yeah. It, <laughs> so it's exciting when you get to tell them that their offer was accepted and you get to the closing table and you take the picture and they get the keys and they get all excited. But then there's that moment of, oh, I don't probably get to hang out with them anymore. <laughs> Farewell. Hello. So can I come in? <laughs> we can hang out. <laughs> I can see you. I'm looking at your windows. <laughs> you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> But overall, it is a good word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for with closings, I know sometimes we have agents that are newer, and we have them go and we shadow the closings, and they're like, you know, what's going to happen? And I'm like, well, if everything was done properly, this should be really boring, boring. because you're going to sit there and you're just going to listen and talk. But if you have a closing where there is a ton to fix or things happen, those can be very stressful because if, you know, somebody does something or something happens at a final walkthrough and then you're having to negotiate at the table, those are not boring. So hoping for the boring ones is not a bad thing. I think Caden was probably, what, six or eight months when he attended his first closing. Mm. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Was he bored? He slept. Oh, he slept yeah. right through it. Yep. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I want, I want, on the bar. We give Jake a bottle and he's all good to go. I went to one with Jake too <laughs> to shadow mine. Yeah, it was really boring. <laughs> yeah. Well, that means Jake did a good job. Yeah. Which yeah. means Jake's really boring. 
Uh, oh no! Good job. Totally good <laughs> we job. We buttoned everything up, and I think that's what people don't realize too. For how and closings aren't necessarily boring because a lot of times you have the buyers and the sellers there, and as agents, it's kind of our job to <clears throat> get them to talk to one another because it's nice to know. Oh yeah, well in the the backyard we have these plants that come up every year, or just. Oh, this neighbor's really, really nice. They'll be willing to show you around and introduce you to ne- other neighbors and that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, other than that, there's so much that happens between accepted offer and closing that it's nice that the closing is typically boring and uneventful because everything leading up to that probably wasn't. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a good feeling when it's just simple and boring and everybody's excited. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, you, you've done a, a, it was a job well done. If you think about it, you're just going from, if you have a buyer coming into the system and you could be as short as a relationship of 30 days, right? 60 days right. being with them or 90 days. Mm-hmm. So it's a short period of time. Mm-hmm. You won't be best friends with all Besties. of the people that you go to closing with. I think I was at That's a closing okay. uh, this last year and they sat down and realized they knew each other. So huh. I left in an hour. <laughs> From what I understand, they were there another hour just talking. <laughs> just hanging out at the closing, just chatting. Sometimes they hit it off. And I had one today where we scheduled a closing and the seller themselves actually reached out to me saying, hey, are your buyers planning on being at closing because we'd really like to meet them, tell them about all the different fruit trees we have in the yard, answer any questions they have. So when you have communication like that and buyers and sellers in that situation, closings are fun because Mm -hmm. we're all there for the same thing. Mm -hmm. They sold their house. Awesome. Buyers got the house they wanted. Awesome. Both really great things in this market. And so to see them kind of have that, that connection, I think is it's a really cool part of the the whole deal. There are surrounding counties that the they keep the buyers and sellers separate at closing, so they don't meet until the final exchanging of keys and openers. So they're separate the entire time. Which when the first time we did that in Jefferson County, we're like, "This is weird." Yeah. <laughs> <And they laughs> like, where's the that. other people? They still do it like that. Yeah. And sometimes it's okay. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's better that sometimes the buyers you and might want to request separate rooms. Yes, mm-hmm. together. I suppose. Not everybody gets along. Just wait, Dom. Yeah, I was all sorts of I'm fun, excited. exciting things. <laughs> <laughs> all the things. All right. Well, I think we've got closing mastered. Hmm. Yes. Huh? I think we got it. All right. Nailed very it. good. Well, nailed, um, it. nailed it. If you like content like this, consider watching some of these other videos, hitting the subscribe button. If you want to know what your house is currently worth, go to hometeamforyou.com and look at the free evaluation tool.